isn't that nice? Got the back cleaned out. And we have the matching interior to the front back here. You can see it's an exact replica. Something neat is these are actually shades up in here. Unfortunately, I don't think they're in very good repair. I don't know if you can see up there. Yeah, there's the end of the shade. And uh, you could probably wind some new shade around there. And there are also on these windows right here. Um, but again, I don't believe they're going to be any good, judging by the fact that they're crumbling. Pretty interesting swoop design there. The seat. Uh, I don't think that's supposed to do that either. Um, the reason that that does that is because that it's broken. Look at them springs. So there's probably some wood in there that snapped. Which uh, I think once you rip all this off, that's actually not that hard to fix. There was a bag of walnuts that came out of here um, that you wouldn't believe. Maybe they're not walnuts. They're, uh, they're the uh, disgusting, I guess, is what we call them.
this is fun to do and everything. And it makes the car look nicer when it's hanging around in the shop, but the real thing is that you shine it up, you you can see where the damage is that you gotta look at and fix a lot easier. And this here, I don't know if you can see it, but there's some really heavy scratches under this paint where it looks like they went at it with you know, 60 grit or something like that. There's still some fitment issues on this. I'm too tight right there. And I'm too tight right here. I think the radiator support actually has to come up and then that's got to get shimmed. The hinge has to get shimmed up. And then maybe tilt it forward. It's hard to say for sure. But uh, for now, I think I'm just going to try to move it around so that, that isn't binding because I don't like it pushing on that pop metal trim piece. But other than that, not bad. I got my gap fixed. But now I got that tie. But I ain't gonna worry about that for now. But I realized this thing doesn't latch in the front. So there's no latch there. So push that down just grab in the back every time I gotta find one of those parts and pieces I gotta dig through all the stuff or this stuff I found them bat wings Get those in. And I got this back in. And I don't really know what the hell that does. I think it, it's bringing wind from the fan over to the heater box. But I think the other thing it's doing is it's a breather right there. And I think as a blow by comes out of the engine. It just takes and it blows all of it back there. I don't know if you can see it, but I mean, everything's caked with grease on these cars. Um, and I think that's part of it. I think just the way they're designed, um, there's a lot of, there's a lot of like oil vapor moving around. They don't really have like positive crankcase ventilation. They got, you know, low compression. There's a lot of blow by, you know, not the tightest of tolerance by today's standards. But she's getting there. I don't know where, but she's getting somewhere. I'm gonna call this one a wrap. I gotta thank Matt who helped me drag these things back. I didn't get any footage of that and I wish I did. Um, that was a sight to behold. This one and the other one that's outside. Two trucks, two trailers dragging these things back two and a half hours. And uh, what a sight. It was a it was a lot of work getting these things back up here. So thanks Matt. I owe you one. I owe you many. Still got some buttoning up to do on this thing before I can set it aside. But I really got to get back over to the black one. Um, it's feeling kind of neglected over there, and uh, you know that really is the that really is the prize. Um, still on the fence about a few things, what to do with that one, but um, there's plenty I can get working on that has to get done no matter what, um, and. 
a lot of it's the same stuff I did on this. So this was kind of good practice for a lot of that stuff because it's, you know, there's less to risk. You know, this one can only get better. Um, anything you do to it just, it, it loves the attention. Um, so now that I've had my fingers into a lot of things on this one, um, I got to go and do the same over there, you know, for the carburetor. Um, I already got the fuel pump rebuilt on that. Um, I done a bunch of stuff on that one so far, but it, uh, it needs a lot more. The wiring harness was smoking in it last time I had it running, which was a year and a half ago. But I, I still got to get this one back together. And um, like I said, the goal is to get it so it'll start and drive on its own without any weirdness. It just starts, back it out of here, move it around, um, whatever. You know, right now I'm scooching these things across the floor on the jack. If these things are going to be hanging around, they have to, they have to be able to uh, get out of the wrong way at least. Anyway, I'm rattling on now. It's late. I'm tired and it's so damn cold out. I don't even feel like walking back from the garage to the house, but uh, I kind of like sitting out here at night, so it gives you a chance to kind of stare at the things and think about what's next and come up with plans and uh, you take that couple moments to look at progress and uh, I think that kind of fuels the fire. It does with me anyways. Um, anyway, Dick, I'll, uh, I'll be talking with you soon and uh, whoever the hell else is watching this, Byron, Derek. Derek watches all of these. He's hooked. And, uh, toodaloo.